In this video, let us derive equation of motion of a simple pendulum using Lagrange's equation of motion. We know Lagrange's equation of motion is given by d by dt of dou L by dou qj dot minus dou L by dou qj is equal to 0. d by dt of dou L by dou qj dot minus dou L by dou qj equal to 0. Here, L is nothing but it is called Lagrangian function and L is equal to T minus V. And here T is the kinetic energy of the system and V the potential energy of the system. And QJ is nothing but is the generalized coordinate. Now let us apply this Lagrange's equation of motion to our problem that is simple pendulum to find the equation of motion of a simple pendulum. We have been studying about simple pendulum for a very long time. A simple pendulum is nothing but a long white glass string. At the end of the string you have a heavy metal bob of mass m. The other end of the string is fixed. And this pendulum is free to oscillate. So this simple setup is called as a simple pendulum. This simple pendulum comes under scleronomic constraint as well as it is just holonomic and conservative. Scleronomic means it is independent of time and the conservative means the, the total energy of the system is conserved. Okay, so let us come to a problem. This is how the simple pendulum will look in its equilibrium position. So it is fixed at O, it is at a equilibrium position, the length of the string is L and the mass of the bob is M and the pendulum is allowed to oscillate and from A position to it goes to the deflected position B. And the angle between the equilibrium position A and the deflected position B, B theta. And it is L here. And let me mark this place. I have drawn a perpendicular from A to this line OB. Let me mark it as C. Now this is a right angled triangle. Now first what we have to do is we have to choose the generalized coordinate, the suitable generalized coordinate for this problem. Looking at the geometry of the problem, the suitable generalized coordinate system for this is a polar coordinate system and it has only two degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom here is two. So, the polar coordinate system is represented by r theta phi. So here it is moving only in a plane. So we can very well leave this phi. 
since the length of the pendulum r is equal to l is fixed we can neglect this r also so the generalized coordinate on which the problem is dependent as theta now let us write lagrange's equation so lagrange's equation in generalized coordinate theta is given by d by dt of do l by do theta dot minus do l by do theta is equal to 0 as usual this l is given by t minus v now we need to find out what is the kinetic energy of the system and the potential energy of the system so let us find out what is the kinetic energy of the system we know the kinetic energy t is given by half mv square so we need to know what is the here m is the mass of the pen, uh, bob and v is the velocity of the pendulum which with uh, which with, with which it uh, is uh, oscillating we know it is fixed here i mean the pendulum is fixed here this is the pendulum is fixed here that is the equilibrium position o and its deflected position a it is oscillating like this why i am interested in finding this displacement s is the velocity is equal to displacement by time taken so i need to find out what is this s by t so this displacement or i can say this is a length of an arc so length of the arc is equal to radius of the arc into angle subtended by the arc so what is the length of the arc uh, arc here is i mean the radius of the arc is r l here and the angle subtended is theta so it is l into theta so s is equal to that is the length of the arc s is equal to l into theta or i can write here as l by theta by t or simply i can write this as l into theta dot that is the time differential of this angle so it is d it is d theta by dt i am writing it it as theta dot so in uh, classical mechanics uh, theta dot represents a first order differentiation of theta with respect to t so let us substitute v is equal to l theta dot here so t becomes half m into l theta dot the whole square or t is equal to half m l square theta dot square so this is our kinetic energy of the system next let us find out the potential energy of the system the potential energy is given by v is equal to mg and the potential energy here will be zero and the potential energy here will be mainly due to the potential stored between the deflected position and the original position so the difference between the deflected position and the original position is bc so i can write this as mg into bc or bc can be written as ob minus oc the length of this ob is l so it is mg into l minus and we need to find what is the value of oc so let us take this right angle to triangle oca from right angle to triangle oca i need oc so it is let us find out cos, cos theta from there so cos theta will be adjacent by hypotenuse so it is oc by l or oc is equal to l cos theta so let us substitute it here so it becomes l cos theta l being common in both the one i can take mg l into 1 minus cos theta 
सो दिस इज माई पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वी आर एल इज इक्वल टू टी माइनस वी अवर टी इज हाफ एम एल स्क्वायर टी डॉ डॉट स्क्वायर एंड वी इज माइनस एम जी एल इंटू वन माइनस कॉस थीटा सो दिस इज द लेग्रांजियन फंक्शन एल इन लेग्रांजीज इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वी हैव टू डिफरेंशियल्स वन इज डो एल बाई डो थीटा डॉट सो लेट एस डिफरेंशियट एल विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टीटा डॉट दिस टर्म कंप्लीटली गोज टू जीरो सो यू गेट हाफ एम एल स्क्वेयर थीटा डॉट वेन यू डिफरेंशियट यू गेट टू टीटा डॉट this thing and this thing will get cancelled so you will get m l square theta dot in the same way you find out do l by do theta so what is do l by do theta you will have minus mg l so this part will completely go zero and in this part you have minus cos theta when you differentiate this one it will become Zero minus cos theta will give you so minus m g l. This minus into minus will become plus. When you differentiate cos theta, you will get minus sine theta. So you get this minus because of this sine theta. So this do l by do theta is equal to minus m g l sine theta. Now let us put it in this equation, the general equation of Lagrange's d by dt of do l by do theta dot minus do l by do theta equal to zero. Substituting in it, you will get. d by dt into what is this do l by do theta dot it is m l square theta dot minus of minus m g l sin theta equal to zero so it is d by dt this is constant this is constant so I can take this m l square outside theta dot becomes theta double dot so minus into minus you will get plus एम जी एल साइन थीटा इक्वल टू जीरो लेट मी डिवाइड दिस बाई एम एल वॉट आई विल गेट इस एल थीटा डबल डॉट प्लस जी साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो और थीटा डबल डॉट प्लस जी बाई एल साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो this is the required equation of motion of a simple pendulum if in case theta is very small or i can approximate sin theta to theta if the amplitude of the simple harmonic motion is very very small the theta is small then then i can approximate sin theta to theta in that case the equation of motion simplifies to theta double dot plus g by l into theta is equal to 0